If you want to get better at something, you always study the best. And what we did is, is we took our video cameras and we studied some of the best short game players. And we found something. When we had the down the line camera angle that you're looking at me here, when we drew a line on our video programs up the shaft line and we studied how the pros took it away, the club swung up this little shaft line. This would be outside and this would be inside. And so it was a common discovery that we found that they took it away at a certain direction and then if I'm taking it away at a certain direction, that's going to give me a specific attack angle. Well, that attack angle helps us use the bounce and helps us brush the ground a little bit better because we don't want to be taking divots here in our short game. So if we think about what we discovered, there's a way to practice that. And I'm going to show that to you. If I took an alignment rod and I laid it parallel to where I want to go, that would be your target line. This is parallel. If I took the club back and I paused at when the shaft was parallel to the ground, this is above and that's below, and about 99% of you when you do this drill the first time, you're going to be above, parallel to the ground, and have a hard time stopping there. You're going to basically just take it away hundreds of times just trying to master this direction that you take it back. And so when you do that, you're going to take it back there and then eventually kind of pause and then eventually it'll come into one constant motion. And then what you're going to do is what we call blocked practice. You're going to work on your technique. You're not going to be going to different targets. That's random practice. We're going to hit it with a specific length backswing to try to master this plane or this path that the pros are taking it back on. You're going to try to get that parallel to the ground and parallel to your target line. Now, that shot didn't go to a specific target. I don't want it to go to a target. I'm just working on whether or not I can take it back on plane. Give it a couple practice swings. Pause on one. Constant motion on one. Maybe pay attention to your spot that you hit the ground to help clean up your contact. That was a little better contact that time. So I'm specifically working on the plane and the takeaway. If you do that, that's going to give you that sound where you get under the ball and you hit the ball on the sweet spot. That's what gives you predictability so that you can now start hitting it close to the hole. So work on your plane to get better in your short game.